Okay, class. Now we'll start with exercise one e. This is again on estimation. In exercise one b, we have estimated the sum and the difference. Now, in this exercise, we will estimate the product. So, when we multiply the answer that we get, the result that we get, that is called the product. So, I have written some of the sums. Like in the first sum, it's written to round off to near ten. So this is 10th place, so this will become 0 and to the right of 3 it's 8 which is more than 5, so 3 will become 4 and uh, this is 10th uh, place, so 3 will become 0, to the right of 6 you have a digit which is less than 5, so 6 will remain 6. Now you have to multiply these two numbers, so when you multiply these zeros gets added in the answer, 1 zero is this, 1 zero, so this gets added in the answer and rest of the digits you multiply, 6 fours are 24, so this is your answer. Now again I have to estimate to near 10, so this is 10th place, so this becomes 0 and to the right of 4 you have a digit which is less than 5, so 4 will remain as 4. And this will become 0. This is 10th place. If I see to the right of 7, it's 5. So when you have 5, it means 7 will change to 8. So now you multiply. I have rounded off the numbers. Now I will multiply them. So when you multiply, these two zeros gets added in the answer. And 8 folds are 32. Now the, these numbers I have to round off to near 100. So this is 100th place. So this will become 0. This will become 0. Now I will look to the right of 3 which is 7 more than 5. So 3 will become 4. And this is 100th place. 0. This will become 0. To the right of 1 you have 2 which is less than 5. So 1 will remain the same it will become 1. So now when you multiply these two zeros, these two zeros you add in the answer 4 zeros and 4 into 1 is 4 so your answer is 40,000 this is 100th place this is 100th place so this becomes 0 this becomes 0 to the right of 5 you have less than uh, to the right of 5 we have a digit which is less than 5 so this will remain the same so now this becomes 0 this becomes 0 and to the right of 1 the digit is more than 5 so 1 will become 2 so these two zeros these two zeros you will add in the answer and we are left with 5 and 2 so 5 2 is the 10 so your answer is 1 like so this is 100th place so this will become 0 this will become 0 to the right of 2 you have 7 more than 5 this is it is more than 5 so 2 will become 3 and this is a hundredth place so this will become 0 this will become 0 to the right of 3 you have a digit which is less than 5 so 3 will remain as 3 now we have rounded off the numbers now you will multiply them so these two zeros these two zeros will come in the answer and 3 3 is a 9 so your answer is 90,000 now I come to the next question which says estimate each of the following products by rounding of the first number upward and the second number downward. Now, if you look at the 13th question, they are saying they have given you the uh, two numbers to multiply and they are asking you to round off the first number upwards and the second number downwards. Okay, so now what I will do is, now I will see that this 183 lies between 100 to 200. So, the 183 lies between the range 100 to 200. And even 154 lies from 100 to 200. So, this 154 lies between 100 and 200. So, they have asked you to round off the first number upward. So, I have to round off the number upward. Upward means I will round off it to 200. I will not look at which is the next digit or the digit to the right of it because they have asked you to round off uh, to upward. So, I will 
find out in which range this number lies like 103 lies from 100 to lies between 100 to 200 so and i have to round off this number upwards so i will take 200 i'll turn this number into 200 now 154 lies between 100 to 200 and they are asking you to round off the number downward downward means this will be upward and this is downward so i will change this 154 into 100 now i will multiply them so these two zeros and these two zeros getting the answer and two ones are two so this becomes twenty thousand. let me do one more example so 267 multiply by 146 now this 267 lies between 200 to 300 look at the first digits 200 or 200 ke baad aata hai 300 so this number lies between 200 to 300 and this number lies between this is first look at the first digits 100 or ab uh, uh, between it lies between 200 100 and 200 now they are asking you to round off the first number upward upward means it will become 300 and second number downwards downward means it will become 100 so when you multiply them the answer will be 30 these two zeros these two zeros getting the answer and three ones are three so let me do one more example now i do the 15th question 359 multiplied by 76 now look at this three so it means this number 359 lies between 300 to 400 okay and now this 76 there are only two digits in this so this lies between 70 to 80 Okay, so 76 lies over 70 to 80 and 359 lies between 359, 300 and 400. The first number I have to uh, round off upward, so it means I will take 400 for this. And this number I have to round, uh, round off downwards, I will take the 70 for this. So when you multiply two zeros and one zero, so all together three zeros and seven fours are twenty-eight. So the answer is twenty-eight thousand. Okay, let me do one more example now. Seventeen question six eighty into one sixty four. Now if you will see six hundred eighty lies, look at the first digit, it lies between six hundred to seven hundred, and this lies between this is hundred to 200 so the first uh, number I round upwards upward means I will take 700 and this number I have to round downwards so I will take 100 so when you multiply them you get 70,000 hope you have understood okay now I will come to the 19th question and now they are asking you the reverse of the previous questions they are saying estimate the following products by rounding the first number you have to round downwards the first number you have to round downwards and the second number you have to round upwards now i will see that 356 lies between this is 3 so 300 and 400 and 276 lies between 200 and 300 so the first number you have to round downwards. Downwards means I will take 300 for this. And this number I have to round upwards. It means I will take 300 for this. So when you multiply, you get 90. Thousands. Two zeros, two zeros in the answer. Three threes are nine. Now let me take one more example. 578 multiplied by 369. So the first downwards and the second upwards now i will see that this number lies between so this is starts from 5 so 500 to 600 and this number lies uh, between this is 3 so it lies between 300 to 400 so the first number i have to round downwards so i will take 500 and this number i have to round upwards so i will take 400 so 400 into 500 into 4 100 so what the answer will be 5 fourths are 20 so 2 x is the answer okay class now we start with the exercise 1f in this you have to estimate the quotient 
so as you move the question means i have whatever numbers you are given you have to round them off first and then you have to find the question means you have to divide them so uh, if you can see no instructions are given in this question whether to round off the numbers so only 10 or 100 or 1000 so what i will do is since you are given two digits over here and two digits over here so i will round off the numbers to near 10 so two digits here, so I will round off the numbers to near 10. So when I round off the numbers to near 10, so this will become 0. And to the right of 8, you can see it's 7, which is more than 5. So 8 will become 9. So this will become 90. And this will become 0. And to the right of 2, it's 8, which is more than 5. So 2 will become 3. So when you divide the numbers, you can write in this form also. So 0 and 0 gets cancelled and 3, 3 is a 9. So the answer is 3. Again, you have two digits. So I will round them off to near 10. So to the right of uh, 8, this will become 0. And to the right of 8, you have a digit which is less than 5. So 8 will remain 8. And this will become 0 and to the right of 1 you have a digit which is more than 5 so 1 will become 2 so when you divide them 0 and 0 gets cancelled and 2 falls are 8 so the answer is 4 now if you will see uh, at the fourth question you have 3 digits over here and 2 digits over here and no instructions whether to uh, round off to near 10 or 100 so this number I will round off to near 100 and this I will round off to near 10 so this is 100 first so this will become 0 this will become 0 and to the right of 1 you have 9 which is more than 5 so this will become 200 and this I will round off to near 10 so this is this will become 0 to the right of 2 you have 4 which is less than 5 so 2 will remain as 2 so when you divide them 200 divided by 20 0 0 gets cancelled and 2 10 is a 20 so your answer is 10 now again this 3 digits so I will round off this to near 100 so this will become 0 this will become 0 to the right of 2 you have a digit which is more than 5 so 2 will become 3 and this I will round off to near 10 because there are two digits in the number. So 5 will become 0 and 2 because to the right of 2 you have 5. So 2 will become 3. So when you divide them, this gets cancelled and 3 times are 30. So the answer is 10. Now look at this number. 3 digits. I will round off this to near 100. This becomes 0. To the right of 7, you have less than 5. Uh, this is a digit which is less than 5. So 7 will remain 7. And if you will, uh, now this number, I will round off to near 10. So this will become 0. And 2 will become 3. Because to the right of 3, uh, to the right of 2, you have a digit which is less than, uh, more than 5. So this will become 30. Now look at this. When you will divide this 3 700 divided by 300 uh, 30 it will not exactly go on this so 30 if i divide them it will become 30 uh, you can make this short also the division you can make short also by cancelling the zero so then zero gets cancelled now we have 70 divided by 3 so 3 3 is a uh, sorry 3 2 is a 6 and this becomes 10, 3, 3 is a 9, so again 1, so my, this is not ended over here, uh, so what I will do is, I can continue it, I can put a point here and continue my division, so this becomes 3, 3 is a 9, so again 1 is here, so this sum will never get over, again, uh, I will write 9, again I will make it 10, again I will choose 1, I will again 1 will be the remainder, so this will never end. So what I uh, what I get is 23.3. Now in your last class, I remember we have done the rounding of decimal numbers also. 
uh, do you remember so if uh, uh, to, uh, 23 is there and after the decimal the number is 3 which is less than 5 so it means this will become 23 so let me uh, do one more example like this let me do the ninth part the ninth part says 858 divided by 39 so 858 I will round off to near 100 because it has three digits so 0 0 and 8 because you write off 8 you have a digit uh, 5 so this 8 will become 9 and divided by 9 will become 0 round off to near 10 because I have two digits so this 3 to the right of 3 you have more than 5 so 3 will become 4 now when I divide 0 and 0 gets cancelled now this 90 will not be exactly divisible by 4 now look at this 4 2 is a 8 4 2 is a 8 now you are left with 2 so put a decimal and a 0 4 5 is a 20 so this answer is 22.5 now when i have to round off a decimal number what i'll do is i will see at the number after the point which is 5 so it means this 22 will become 23 okay so this is the answer